Hi guys, I'm local today. Uh, I'm on a little bit of a mission to find uh, an ancient Saxon round barrow, which is to the west of the A217, the Mad Mile, uh, at the top of Sutton, at Banstead. I've known it's been there for years, I've known about it for years, but I've never actually visited there. Um, I know it's part of, sort of the golf course, Banstead golf course. So, um, yeah, we're going to go have a little walk. We're on Banstead Common at the moment. I should point out we're on the London Loop, part of the London Loop, which is a walk all around the outskirts of London and also on the town and down circular walk around Banstead. So it's all very nice. So we're going to cross over the golf course, part of the golf course, and um, over the A217. I'm not filming on the GoPro today, I'm filming on a different camera, Canon PowerSot G16. Just testing out new ways of filming. I'm going straight into the camera on sound, so forgive me if there's any little bit of wind. It's actually not that blowy at all, so. Do you mind if I'll be able to see it? And there we go. Out onto the A217. There we go. It's the Commons. Right, so I'm going to follow the London Loop, which is through here, and that should bring us down to the barrels. We're now west of the A217, and it's now a case of just trying to find the barrel. Now barrows are ancient burial sites, basically where a grave will be, earth will be put upon it. There's so many different types of barrows, there's round barrows, bell barrows, long barrows. I mean they're mainly associated with the Neolithic and Bronze Age periods, but there was a resurgence in Anglo-Saxon times, sort of post-Roman um, post invasion. Here it is, guys. Saxon burial mound. Forgive me, the A217 did view the other side of the uh, <laughs> of the trees. Um, there's four round barrows on the common. This one was, was excavated in 1972. I mean, all over they found Roman uh, artifacts, Bronze Age artifacts. When they excavated this main site, they found the remains of a six foot Saxon warrior who was buried with some trinkets, some swords. And six foot was quite tall for those days. So, uh, yeah, so he must have been an important figure. It's interesting, the other name for this area is Galley Hills. There's a clue in the title there. Um, back in medieval period, there were gallows um, just over the back there. No one knows exact, the exact location. And when they were excavating here, they found the bodies of four people who'd been executed uh, from and dated back to sort of medieval period. It's interesting actually having gallows here because over by the A217 there's a big crossroads. Um, I need to look on some old maps because it's probably been a crossroads for quite a while. And obviously back in, back in the day people were very superstitious about uh, crossroads and roads. Um, that's interesting, yeah. I don't think there was a gibbet here. Um, there is rumour there might have been in the sort of 1600s, 1700s. Um, it's very hard with gibbets to actually, unless you can find the, the priest, the plot hole. Where they were. I know it's not a lot to look at, but it's still significant. What I also find interesting is the Saxon warrior, probably 6th, 7th century, maybe, and then five, six hundred years later, execution victims 
buried pretty much in the same plot. They actually, when they uh, uncovered the skeletons on the excavation back in 72, they found the next cracks over there. Yeah. Always look at your place names where you live. Galley Hills, go figure. Yeah. It's feel like Gibbet Hill, go figure. Yeah, always look, there's a lot of uh, history behind names. Fancy Common actually used to connect with Epsom Downs, it's not too far away. Famous for horse racing, of course, and lots of sorts. Uh, mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086, and it was owned by the half brother of William the Conqueror. I wonder what you make of it now. Anyway, and head back. There's one more thing I want to show you with something much more recent and a little bit of nostalgia. Here we go. getting a bit warm now. As we walk back up um, the common, see all the chalk, downland, the part of the North Downs. My friend Paul and I walked recently the whole of the North Downs way from Farnham to Dover. We treated over about two years, 18 months. Just taking an alternative path up the place can quickly show you. It's all blocked off now and overgrown. There used to be a little car park in the common. And I filmed a couple of sequences from my very first film, if you saw my last video, looking back at Wolf Hunt. We shot some scenes here and also shot some scenes for Dawn Razor in 2001. A little fight sequence. And also over there as well, just did the sword fight sequence, but yeah. No car park no longer, I don't know why. It's sort of a place for dog walkers and people. There you go. Just have a bit of nostalgia. Thanks very much for joining us and watching the video. Just a brief tour. Um, I will be delving a lot more into the local history and vlogging about it. So whatever you're doing, have a good day. I'll be seeing you.